Hey everybody, this is Gabe from Gabe's Green Corner. Just want to do a little tip today about uh, clean eating, and uh, I guess you could call it green eating too. Uh, when I say clean eating, I mean going way beyond cutting down your fast food and your fattening foods and your nasty things that you put in your body. Clean eating has to do with a whole other level where you take out uh, chemicals and processed things and you pretty much have to cut out fast food. There are some places that you could probably consider still clean eating, like maybe Chipotle, um, some organic and natural places, but for the most part it means cutting out fast food, uh, most box food out of your diet, things that are processed. I know in my house we pretty much go with uh, just things that you actually make where you've actually got to go in your cupboard and cook something. Cook something not boxed or if you're going to make beans you actually boil down beans or pasta, boil pasta. A step beyond that we've also cut out all high fructose corn syrup. I think kind of an interesting thing that a lot of manufacturers have been doing, I think they see the people that want to get away from high fructose corn syrup, so they've switched to sugar. It's like, whoa, what a trivial idea, let's switch to sugar in our stuff, which is not what you want to have a lot of either, but that's what a lot of companies have gone to, is switching from high fructose corn syrup to sugar. What you want to do is have as few ingredients in everything you eat as possible. Uh, get things that are fresh as much as possible, things that you cook yourself. May mainly stay away from things that are boxed and things from fast food restaurants. We cut out fast food eating altogether in our family probably about a year ago. High food dose corn syrup, November of last year. Uh, and we've cut down you know the other bad things that we eat. We use a lot of olive oil. Um, I eat a lot of spinach. I probably eat about two pounds of spinach a week. Um, we do a lot of vegetables and fruits and not a lot of meats. We try to go to local grocery stores and the farmers markets. Source things as, as close to you can, as close to where you live as possible. Keeps the cost down. Clean eating in general uh, is going to involve probably a lot of eating vegetables and fruits, uh, not as much meats, and really getting rid of box things. If you're going to have something box, you want to read the ingredients, uh, try to stay as organic as possible. But really, clean eating is about getting away from box things, getting away from processed things, cutting down your fat content, cutting down the chemicals that you pr put into your body. And it's funny because a lot of, you know, probably a year and a half, two years ago, I started cutting down the fats that I ate, I've done the Atkins diet, I started to eat a lot more healthy by eating a lot more salads, but I wasn't losing weight. And then some people suggest that we started switching to organics, which we did, we switched to organics, and then a step beyond organics, we've got some friends that started started suggesting clean eating, so we've switched into that, and it's really made a difference. I mean, I'm down 30 pounds in the last year, and my goal now is another 30 pounds. I've paired my diet with a lot of exercise, but I definitely think clean eating uh, eating no processed stuff or high fructose corn syrup or fast food has really helped a lot. I'm not a pop drinker. I drink a fair amount of coffee, but in my coffee, I just put in a little bit of skim organic milk. Uh, one big tip, though, when you do clean eating is make sure that you have a good multivitamin. I take a multivitamin from Whole Foods, uh, one that doesn't have iron because I'm a, my stomach doesn't like a lot of iron. I take glucosamine from my joints. Uh, I do a little bit of B12 here and there for a little extra energy, and then I also do... Uh, organic fresh bee pollen which helps your body in a lot of ways it keeps you from getting uh, allergic reactions to things if you're a person that has allergies it can help with a lot of things so those are my tips for today I'll have more in the future but uh, give clean eating a try I almost guarantee that if you try it you will like it and you want to stick with it have a good day everybody